What's up, Brian Tong here, and welcome to Googleicious for all the Google that we can pack inside of a show each week. Let's get to it, and the Googs just dropped a really cool update on us with some of the latest developments for their self-driving cars. Now they've shifted their focus to mastering city street driving, and a video released shows how the vehicle can navigate through things like construction zones or railroad crossings. They even show how it's able to detect a moving bicyclist. Watch in this example, when the cyclist holds up his arm, our software detects the hand signal and predicts his movement into our lane. Look, it even recognizes those people on bikes that don't know where they're going half the time, but think they own the road. So instead of driving through them, the self-driving car waits for them. The examples this video shows are really impressive and their vehicles have now logged nearly 700,000 autonomous miles. See, in the near future, you will really be able to do your makeup and drive at the same time. Now we've talked about some of the new interface tweaks and refreshes to apps and icons that we are expecting at Google I.O. and a new report says the G-men and women are planning to expand the capabilities of OK Google and introduce new navigation buttons. Android Police reports that you'll be able to say OK Google anywhere in Android and specific actions will appear on screen depending on the app you're using. So if you're working in the Photos app, you can share some of those pictures. Now here's screenshots of what authorizing that feature might look like. The report says it will be limited to Google Play and Nexus devices that are all running a pure Android OS. Android police also say it might be able to provide suggested actions if you're doing something like emailing someone and at that time it offers you to reply to them on the spot. So we'll probably continue to hear new information like this with Google I.O. still in late June. There's also a lot happening around Samsung after they sent out a teaser for what's believed to be an announcement for the rumored Galaxy K, the obvious successor to the Galaxy S4 Zoom. Here's Samsung's Instagram teaser showing an optical zoom into the Red Dot Museum in Singapore, so we'll follow up with the details from the event next week. And the Korean giant continues to diversify its product offering, this time with a new line of headphones called Samsung Level. There will be the Level In in-ear headphones, the Level On lightweight wired headphones, and the Level Over cable-free headphones that connect over Bluetooth. See the theme here? And I shouldn't forget their Level Box, that's their own Bluetooth speaker box. They'll be available for sale online and in retail stores in mid-May, but there's no word if there will be headphones inspired by the Cartoon Network show, Level Up. Because everyone would want a pair of those. And in Samsung rumors, a report from Sam Mobile claims the Galaxy S5 Prime will launch in June. Now, this will be the long rumored beefed up S5 that's been talked about over the past few months, featuring a quad AC display at a 2560 by 1440 resolution, and the device could debut a new octa-core processor with an integrated LTE modem. A variation of the Galaxy's S5 model number has appeared on Samsung's official website, and that same device appeared in graphics and benchmarking software with the higher resolution display. Now, it seems to be a little odd timing to drop a Prime Edition right after the S5's release, and there could be some backlash, but we'll wait and see. But before they do that, maybe they should work on the S5's camera killing bug. Samsung has acknowledged that a bug that looks to be more specific to the Verizon version of the S5 completely breaks the phone's camera as a user is hit with a camera failure error message, leaving your S5 camera completely dead. That's right, no selfies. The cause of the issue is yet to be determined, but Samsung is taking responsibility and says a limited number of S5s are experiencing it and pointing people to their customer support number. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week. Email us at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week for some more of that Googleicious. Googleicious.